what day is it? Today's Wednesday and I am putting all my shoes to pop out and I'm heading to a boot store to try it. They've got like a brand new skin analysis tool at number seven counters and it just sounded so interesting to like see what my skin type is, see what skincare products are best suited for that and also I think they can match you up with a foundation that's good for your skin type as well. I haven't used number seven for years but I got my mum into it. Still uses it to this day so here yeah, we are. We do like their products. Oh my god I put my shoes on. It's Easter this weekend so um, after work today we're going to go to the shops and kind of get some ingredients for cooking a roast on Easter Sunday which I'm really looking forward to. Ah. Oh God. I think I'm going to take my Pauline bag out today. I always get questions when I wear this bag from you guys asking where it's from. So it's from a brand called Pauline. I absolutely love it. I, I don't need to take out much, but I'm going to take my Kindle. I'm currently reading a book called Ariadne. I can't remember the author, but it's another one of those kind of Greek, Greek gods and goddesses origin story. And I didn't know anything about Ariadne the Greek. I think she's um, she's not a goddess but she's the grandson of Helios who is the god of the sun but her brother is the Minotaur and it's all about kind of yeah the Minotaur and um, her uh, relationship with a guy called Theseus. You right, more weeks? <laughs> what else do I need? Does anyone else have like 10 different bags on the go at one time? Um, oh, I do need my keys and I'll take my purse just in case. A uh, hand sanitizer and some concealer and then I think that's really good to go. Oh and then this camera. <laughs> oh also I have been like yeah really on a mission recently to try and drink more water. I've been talking about it loads but one of my favourite water bottles was from a brand called Hydrate Mate and um I dropped it at the weekend and it is completely like useless now. The like cap doesn't work. It's like coming away so I keep dropping it even further. And I couldn't find a replacement of like the cap which is such a shame. But I bought this on Amazon and it came yesterday. It, I will leave a link to it down below but the reason I love this is because yeah similarly to the last one I have it has the timing so you know how much to drink and by when I am way behind today but I'm going to be drinking way later than 7 p.m so that's fine I'm not worried too much but this one's quite a fancy one look it has a little cap and then it also has this little thing that you can push up to stop it like popping open. I really like it. It was like £12 I think but this is going to do very well for me. It's huge though, look at that. One litre I think that is. around um, Liverpool Street, picked up some lunch. I've got some sushi from wasabi, a little sashio ginger, and also, yeah, just a really, really loving monster munch at the moment, which is so weird. Um, I'm gonna edit last week's vlog and get that ready and uploaded for you guys. And then, yeah, I've got some TikToks I need to edit and do voiceovers for as well, so it's just a bit of a boring, um, laptop day but the skin analysis tool at number seven was really interesting it kind of just tells you actually like let me let me read it out yeah it recommends products best suited for your skin and also foundation and also because it's like a little uh, camera scanner it also tells you what color foundation they recommend for your skin as well so my skin um my skin came back as like four out of five hydrated three out of five fine lines and wrinkles so I probably should get some more retinol <laughs> and SPF in my skincare regime. Five out of five for pores, which is great, but one out of five for oil balance. One to two is like not very oily at all. Hi Maurice. So I definitely need some oil on my in my regime. Need some more hydration, I think. And they tried on uh, a foundation on me. 
Oh, hi. Someone wants attention because I've been out of the house. He's so funny. Whenever I go to the door, he like runs up to it and gets very excited that I'm home. Oh, can you smell my sushi? He can smell my sushi. <laughs> oh, Maurice. We have just been to the shops to get some um, supplies in for the Long Bank holiday weekend. We're, we've got some, yeah, n n Yorkshire puddings, which I'm very excited about. I'll show you what I got. Oh my God, that dog was so cute. <laughs> Um, I'll show you what we got when we got home. Right, I'm going to show you what I, we got. Bagels, popcorn buns, Yorkshire puddings, pre-made because we are lazy like that. Okay, so for, <laughs> for our roast, for the veg, we've got baby carrots, which G is going to do in like a butter sauce. We've got some chilies for some pasta in the week. Parsnip, courgette. Brussels sprouts and broccoli. We've got all. Oh, she added a little mackerel treat in for the little malt weeks. Okay, we're gonna have a pasta at some point with the king prawns, broccoli, and chili, and like a little squeeze of lemon juice, which will be really nice. Smoked bacon for sandwiches. We've got some guacamole, some hummus, and some like um, these are my faves: the poppy and like sesame seed crackers. Oh my god, they're so good. Onion. Yeah. Okay, we've got some vegetable oil and olive oil because we've run out and then a lot of snacks. This is the pasta we're going to be having. A bit of papadelle, rivita thins, got some eggs, some sea salt. We're basically just running out of all the, like, the basics. Milk, um, picked up this turmeric with orange and star anise tea. Some brunchy bits, we've got avocado, halloumi, oranges, caramelised onion hummus, potatoes, grapes, mini eggs, these biscuits which are so good. And these ones which I haven't had in so long, sticky toffee pudding hobnobs, my faves. Um, and then for our roast, we also got some little red potatoes which I'm going to do like Hasselback style -y and a uh, pork belly. Today is Thursday and I'm about to pop out to Westfield Stratford for the kind of morning um, but there are a couple of bits that I need to get and I thought I'd have a little mooch around with you guys and show you some bits that are in store at the moment some are basics that I wouldn't mind browsing for the only denim jacket I've got it's quite old and it's not very me so I'd like if I can to find an oversized denim, denim jacket I'm also still wanting to make that content where I show you guys some kind of petite trench coat options so I thought I'd have a little look around for those as well Um, I want to show you my outfit today because I really love it Um, it was inspired by a girl I follow on Instagram who I really like her name's Jess, she's cool as fuck. She wore an outfit like this recently and I thought I'd try and copy it using bits that I already have in my wardrobe. So I've got a nice kind of stripy long sleeve tee. Hi Maurice. Um, this is, I got this in a Stitch Fix box. I can't remember the brand, but I'll try and find something similar below. And then I've teamed it with some white jeans and white Converse. I got these jeans from Mango and I love them i've never had a pair of white jeans before but these are so comfy they're like really stretchy um and yeah i really like this all white kind of look also put on my busby and fox trench which i love i love that you can like tighten the waist with these little straps yeah it's super like long on me but i love it first stop h&m and i found a jacket which I was looking for it's a very oversized I've got a small here and it's yeah very long almost down to my knees but I kind of love it let me know what you guys think yeah it's quite big and boxy but I'd be able to wear like jumpers underneath here and still be comfortable this is how I would probably style it in the summer just with a little dress underneath and some trainers just to the dress just kind of yeah makes it a bit more feminine and summer like okay this was the coat that i especially wanted to try on today it's a short trench from arquette and i love it i've got an extra small on today because it is quite over oversized but i love the detailing on the back this flappy bit um it is yeah very big and boxy but i love kind of all that it's got going on it's just like a very classic trench and i like that it's cropped they also do it in black so I just need to work out what colour I want.
I've now come for a little date with this girl. And we've got pancakes and waffles. Today is bank holiday Monday. I've just had some um, boiled egg and, and, and soldiers for breakfast, which was so delicious. And yeah, we've got the day off today because it's bank holiday. So we, we've spent the whole weekend finishing off some like wedding crafty DIY bits it's been very full on um, and I'm hoping today's a little bit more chilled in that department because I would like like a proper full day of just doing nothing I have got therapy today I'm still going along got a lot to talk about today <laughs> so funny last last week's um session I was like oh I don't really have anything to talk about and then this week I'm like yep yeah, I've got a lot a lot to discuss I'm back from a little afternoon therapy session and now I've got a clue for an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> this, this is um, about my hoarding, I think. This says, here I lay in the land of a thousand bottles. There could be many places <laughs> that egg is hiding. Look how cute you are. I've got, <laughs> I've got my basket. This is actually what we're using for our confetti at our wedding. Are we gonna need another one of those? They're quite small, aren't they? Quite we've got small. two. Yeah, we might need two. Um, what, we've got two? We might need two. Oh, we won't need another one? okay then okay well i think this is either we might need another one actually I don't know if that's good enough. no i think it's either in our bottle cupboard but there are two bottle cupboards but it could be referring to alcohol bottles as well because we've got a lot of those or it could be that that tub down there <laughs> oh no can i find an egg in here <laughs> i mean these aren't bottles these are just cups so i'm gonna look in here because we've got a lot of bottles for our wedding any eggs any eggs <laughs> any eggs any eggs oh there aren't any eggs in there how about a lot of bottles down here as well for our wedding babe this is really hard the next bunny's favorite movie is exception <laughs> exception next bunny's favorite movie that thing makes me think it's by the telly Am I right? Or am I right? Hmm. Exception. Bunny. Ignore bunny. Movie. Think about the movie title. Exception. And what's 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 that? Inception. Uh, and what's Inception about? Oh, it's Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Being a bit twisty turny. Yeah. What's the in whole... a different world. No. Different reality. No. What, what literally? What what do they do? They go dream. Yeah, but not just a dream. Nightmare. No. Dream. I dream. <laughs> I haven't seen it in a long time. It's a dream within a dream, isn't it? Yeah. Dream within a dream. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a bed. No. <laughs> Read the thing again. <laughs> It's a dream within a dream. No, no, read the... What's the... <laughs> the next Bunny's favourite movie is Exception. 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 Dream within a dream. Egg. Exception. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I find this really obvious. <laughs> Exception. Think, okay, think... Hey, every year I, I get reminded I how different our brains I are. I do. Think dream within a dream, but not dream... Fake dream. No. Egg, <laughs> egg dream. Not a dream. <laughs> dream within a dream. Egg. Becomes. Reality. No. Be no, instead of dream within a dream. Be exception. Yeah. But <laughs> think dream within a dream, that phrase. Dream within a dream. <laughs> with eggs. So what do you replace it with? <laughs> Babe. <laughs> Babe! Say the phrase dream within a dream. Yes. Say it out loud. Dream within a dream. But with eggs. Egg, egg in a dream. No! It's not dream in a dream. Egg in an egg. Egg within an egg. Egg within How many did you put? I think I put two in there. 
find me under the glass that sand dune. I think I know where that is. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to get my trainers. Oh, this might be the easiest one I've got with you. What the hell? Because it's got sand on it. From the Sahara. Hey! <laughs> Oh, I just had I just had a call with my bridesmaids, and we ran through the timeline for the day, which is so exciting. And now we've just chucked together um, a dinner, which I feel like we haven't done. Oh God, which I feel like we haven't done in ages because we always get gusto. And um, we've got broccoli, onion, king prawns, garlic, chili, and we've got some pappardelle over there. So we're gonna have like an olive oil, garlic, chili pasta. I'm really looking forward to this. One of the reasons I'm marrying you is because you cook your pasta al dente and I always overcook it. He's so good at it, it's a proper skill I think, to be brave enough to stop cooking the pasta. So, uh, yeah. Not as brave as choosing to stop cooking breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Today's Tuesday and it's a very exciting day because I'm getting the little like attachments or buttons off of my teeth that my like aligners clip into. I want them off for the wedding like I don't want <laughs> my wedding pictures for years to come to have like yeah buttons on my teeth um so i'm having them removed today and then put back on after the wedding day which is so exciting i'm a bit worried that my teeth like progress has gotten really slowed down now because i won't have them on but at the same time it'll be nice to kind of feel my teeth again and it means i can start like whitening them properly as well i'm also here so early i always get everywhere early but i might have a little mooch around spitalfields because um yeah, it's, it's right here. It's a great location, this orthodontist. It's called Impress. I also have discount code if any of you guys wanted teeth, like straightening invisible aligners like Invisalign. I think you get like two, 300 pound off your treatment with my code. My teeth are clear. Oh my God, I'm gonna be like, just like feeling them, I think for the rest of the day, they feel so nice and like, smooth um i had a little polish as well but yeah uh it's so cool kind of seeing what my teeth are going to look like at the end uh, i've just come on up to my office to uh, open a press package from juliet has a gun one of my favorite perfume brands and this is a really fun launch it's for their new magnolia bliss fragrance they've sent like a vinyl which is so cool with some like festival kind of summer vibes happy songs that's such a good gift. Um, also one of those sun lamps. I've already got one of these, so I'm probably gonna pop this to a charity shop, but um, very nice for mood lighting. And I'm so excited to smell the new perfume. Magnolia Bliss, it has top notes of bergamot, heart notes of magnolia essence, base notes of ambroxan and musk, and it is in the floral, few fruity kind of family. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, I'm getting a lot of floral right now and also a tiny bit sweet. So I'm excited to see how that kind of dries down. What a cute package. So we've come for a little uh, event this evening to celebrate the launch of Peroni's North 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 Alcohol Beer. They've created like a five course dining experience around the concept of zero. So the first one is zero service. So we have to go to the kitchen ourselves and get our food. 